Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Island Living Mermaid Princess. Thank you so much for all the good feedback on last week's episode, the first episode of the series, and today we are back! You should see the first cutscene, Zail and Coralia have been talking, but Coralia has to go because she did promise to meet Kaleo on the beach this morning for her first day of work as a conservationist. Oh, and by the way, so many of you guys asked for me to download my version of this build on the gallery, so it is now up there. You can find it under my username, which is EliandraYT, or with the hashtag Eliandra. You do need a lot of different packs because I used a lot, but if you want to play in this mermaid palace, you can do that now. But anyways, we can actually swim over to where Kaleo lives. We have to go all the way around here, but this is his house, so I'm gonna have Coralia do that now. We might see one of her other best friends on the way as well and I'll catch up with you guys once we're over there. Alright, so here we are. Coralia just swam over here. You can see the crew over there. They're hanging out. It looks like Okalani is cleaning the beaches. That was her name, right? Yes, Okalani. Oh, she found the eyes of Solani, but oh, this here is Neptune. Oh, is he fetching something for us? I'm not sure. This is one of Cora's best friends. This is Neptune, our little dolphin friend. And yes, mermaids do speak dolphin. So Neptune stole us uh, swimming over here and he decided to come by and he's so cute. I love dolphins in island living. They're best friends. They've known each other since Neptune was like a little baby dolphin. I don't actually know what baby dolphins are called if they have a specific name, but oh my god, I love him. So you could do so many things. Oh my god, let's have splashing playfully. We have to go to the beach in a second to meet up with everyone else. You can pet them. Um, let's talk to Neptune a little bit, tell him about what we're doing, how we're trying to see if we can find out how to save the oceans because land people seem to actually know something about it and see if we can actually convince our dad that we can live in harmony with the humans. So, love Neptune, he's so cute, but let's uh, let's dismiss him and let's uh, go on shore. We do have some people around, so we need to be a little bit careful where we're going to be. And um, yeah, mermaids do have like our castle, normal people can't just see it. It is protected by like a spell that if you aren't a mermaid, you can't just see it. And also when they are in their mermaid form, they're a little bit hard to spot. So let's see what we can do. Um, What's a good spot to get on land? Maybe over here. I don't see anybody over here. So let's have her swim over here. Oh, and as you might have noticed, I did change the colors and how the subtitles work a little bit. So that was the suggestions in last week's video. So that was a great idea. Thank you so much for your guys' great ideas and good feedback. So if you have any other ideas, let me know and I will try to make them happen. But I think it's a little bit easier now to understand who's talking and what's going on in the cutscene but we got on land safely so let's um let's make our way over to these guys I don't know what they're doing but today is our first day of work and I did decide to work from home so we are currently a wildlife enthusiast we have to ooh, we have to go explore a cave in Mua Pelam, Pelam I don't know how to say that and we have to survey wildlife ooh, survey the tropical plants waterfall well, oh, come over here, please. Um, <laughs> cave algae, is that how you pronounce that? Or fishing spots at Mua Pelam. That sounds awesome. And here comes Cora, and here are all of our new friends. So let's go say hello. Let's go give Kaleo a compliment. You look so good today, Kaleo. <laughs> are you wearing something new? Did you do something different with your hair? <laughs> Cora is like, so he. she thinks that anything Kaleo does is like amazing and just yeah, she's very, very, very impressed by how he is and how he really seems to care about the oceans and the nature. So 
I'm really excited to be back here. Let's um, let's talk about the warm temperature. Let's talk to these guys a little bit too. Uh, let's ask uh, Okulani about work maybe. Let's see if we can talk about work with her. Discuss work. And then what can we do with our conservationist career? We can spread conservation awareness. So we can do that. We can take a look at the other guys um, today's work assignments as well because they are higher in this career. So... We have to enthuse about conservation and consult a global policy. So that is what Kalani has to do. Um, Harry has to take photos of Mwapelam and take samples from the ocean. He's very focused. And then Kaleo here has to spray an invasive species. Oh my goodness. And survey wildlife at Mwapelam. So I guess that's where we're going. But while we're here, let's see if we can take the... Um, how do I take the water sample let's go into this actual water so let's here we go take sample from ocean i want to see how this works so he has to take three samples and you guys did have like good ideas in the comments you also said that cora will definitely have a lot of new information for these guys about like all this stuff to do with the ocean because she like literally lives in the ocean so i feel like they would be quite impressed what she has to say she is currently talking to Okulani about work so yeah they all seem to like her so far and they haven't done anything to make Cora think that humans are evil or want something bad to happen so let's see if we can travel to Moapelam because I don't think we are there right now now let's see if we can get started on today's assignments so we are currently over at this area because this is where Kaleo lives with his dad. I believe this is Muapelam. So it says nature rules this island from the active volcano to the flowing waterfall and down into the depths of the secluded cave. This remote destination in the Solani island chain is the place for exploring the beauty of nature. That sounds literally perfect. So we could go to this admiral's wreckage. There is a house here called Dura Camp. Uh, I'm not sure if we can go inside since no one lives there and then we just have this off the grid lot I mean we might as well travel over here maybe now I want to go check out the volcano from a little bit closer up so I'm gonna go travel to that lot and take all of our friends with us all right, here we are, right by the volcano. I actually haven't played with Island Living that much yet, so this is all new to me. I didn't even get to check this out during EA Play. I totally just blanked on the fact that there was an active volcano. So this is what it looks like. It's actually really freaking scary. And it looks like, like there's some weird green stuff coming out of the volcano. I feel like we might be able to clear this up with our new career. So let's just get started on today's assignment. So let's explore the cave in Muapelam. And also how do we survey the wildlife again? We can do plants or the waterfall. Okay, or fishing spots. Well, we do need to stay away from the water, but oh my god, the waterfall is here. All right, let's see what we can do. Also, is this trash? Can we, oh my god, let's go clean up the trash. This is literally why we're here, what inspired us to get out of the water and on land for the first time ever. So, is this a plant that we can survey? This is the wild taro root. This taro plant and roots are in the wild, okay? interesting sentence grow and harvest this plant so you can have roots year round yes we can survey this okay we'll do that next but let's start start up with cleaning the beaches i mean i love this and i honestly think uh once we are far enough in this career we will be able to make an actual difference in solani and once our parents see that once our parents see that something is actually happening i feel like then coralia can come clean and tell them what she's been up to and actually show that it's all good it's all good humans actually helped us save our planet or this world maybe not the planet but at least this world to start off with so apparently we have a tablet i'm assuming we loaned it from one of our new friends and where is the cave so the waterfall is here i mean i think let's see i want them to take more samples of the ocean what was your 
Yule task today. So Cleo's task is to uh, survey the wildlife. So I think we could go take a sample of the waterfall, ask Kaleo, what do you need to do? Enthuse about conservation and consult a global policy. Use the cell phone to consult a global policy. These policies will affect all worlds. Ooh, I wanna do that. Let's see, okay, work. So, consult on global policy. We're gonna do that. And Coralia has to research Tara Root and updated the notebook. Awesome, so we're one out of three, one out of three. Let's see what else we can find. Oh my God, okay, so since we're here with Okalani, let's see. So global policies, these will affect all worlds. We can uh, choose controlling invasive fish, managing overfishing, that sounds like an important one, coconut rebates, supporting organic produce, water purifying solution, littering fines, that's important too. Well, these are all important, obviously. Energy curfew and green energy rebate, if I'm pronouncing that word correctly. That's so cool. Look, they have like effects like for this one, households receive simoleons every day for coconut plants growing on their property. What? And then this one, litters can be fined if called. Okay, this is awesome. I think we're gonna choose this one for now because as it says, a litter does cause a lot of problems for our natural resources and wildlife. So with this, litters can be fined if caught. So we're gonna see if we can get that really cool global policy started. And while Kaleo is not looking, let's see if we can quickly make our, our way over here. I don't think anyone is looking just hop on over hope you got your sample just fine um i think that was okay we got our skills for a second but we're gonna swap back all right where is this cave i think i've seen it before yes here it is all right i'm gonna have kalea come here too because i feel like i want them to explore things together so there's also this thing on the wall which i don't really know what happens i feel like once you explore the cave you can find more pieces to this or it like fills itself but i've never seen it completed so i'm quite excited about that so let's just explore the key hopefully there is no water inside i think you can click on here yes we can we can survey this oh let's survey this as well maybe yeah this counts as wildlife um oh she's gonna survey it by going inside okay well that works. Maybe we get two for one at uh, this cave. It's kind of scary. I'm not sure how she's just gonna go in there. And here comes Kaleo. Let's um have him follow. Let's go serving the cave. They're going in there together. This is scary. Oh, nope. He's gonna wait for his turn. All right, well, I'm just gonna have him beachcomb um, the sand for trash while we are waiting because that is part of our job. And he also needs to spray an in the invasive species where do we find this survey wildlife for invasive creatures and spray to keep them under control well i'm sure we can find it at some point but i think she's almost done yes hmm how interesting <laughs> coralia was able to gather very valuable research data from surveying at the beach cave okay so we also need to explore this that didn't count as an exploration so let's send her back in good luck coralia don't get into too much trouble <laughs> hopefully there's no water all right i'm gonna have kaleo come over here and clean up some more trash while we are waiting can we survey the fish um take sample from the ocean maybe that would count oh coralia is done underground pools oh <laughs> she went swimming in there well at least it's talking there and she was alone because kalea couldn't get in while swimming through the caves many water filled passages Ooh. coralia spotted something at the bottom of one of the cavern shallow pools diving for her quarry coralia was able to recover an old-fashioned wallet yeah i think we just received some money certain the wallet hadn't been dropped recently coralia pocketed the wallet's contents and continued on with her journey Interesting. I mean, I don't think Coralia has ever seen like land people money before. So this is all new to her. So I think when she gets home, she's going to show it off to <laughs> her best friend Dale and they are going to uh, have a good time. Like I feel like she wants to collect all these little trinkets from the land people's worlds. And then that way she can include Dale, even though he is staying at the palace to cover for her. So the last thing we need to do is survey one more wildlife 
thing. Let's survey this plant. Oh my god, it's a pineapple plant! That's so cool! This is a pineapple plant growing in the wild. While it's quite comfortable here, it wouldn't mind being taken home with a caring gardener. Pineapple is literally like my favorite fruit. I'm so excited that they now have that in The Sims. I love pineapple. All right, we're almost done with our first day of work. Kalea seems to be coming over to us as well. I don't know what he wants from us, but we're gonna find out as soon as we are done. And that's our first day done. It is getting a little bit dark, so we only have a few more hours before the sun goes all the way down. There we go. So Kaleo just ran over and he's actually asking Coralia if she would like to come over and hang out at his house, maybe get to know him a little bit better. And and you know Coralia, she's not going to say no. So let's see what happens next.